we have a reaction between sodium chloride and sulfuric acid right uh, we're given the mass of sodium chloride as 1.5 grams and we are also told that that 1.5 gram is an impure sample right and then it reacts with 100 centimeter cube of sulfuric acid of concentration 0 0.1 moles per decimeter cube at room temperature and then the first question here uh, 6.2.1 which is kind of an unusual one right define the term concentration right we never really worry about the definition but we just know that the formula is c is equals to n divided by v and this is exactly where we're going to derive the definition of concentration is the number of moles per unit volume right the number of moles per unit volume right of a given substance and then the second question 6.2.2 is saying that let's calculate the number of moles of sulfuric acid used in the reaction above so let's go to our information and see how we can possibly do that so with regards to sulfuric acid uh, we are given the volume and we are also given uh, the concentration right and we're looking for the number of moles so we know that uh, in 6.2.1 we say that c is basically equals to n divided by v so if we want to find the number of moles we're going to say that uh, the number of moles is equals to the concentration multiplied by the volume but what is the concentration is given to us at 0 0.1 moles per decimeter cube right so we have 0 0.1 here multiplied by the volume which is a hundred centimeter cube but we know fully well that in chemistry we don't deal with centimeters but decimeter instead so we have to divide this 100 uh, by a thousand right yeah so if we do that we just have 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.1 which is equals to 0 0.01 right moles so those are the number of moles of sulfuric acid uh, that we use in the reaction we're given above and then now we can move to 6.2.3 so 6.2.3 here uh, it is being said that on completion of the reaction it is found that 460 centimeter cube of hcl gas has formed 460 centimeter cube of hcl gas has formed and now the question itself is saying that let's calculate the percentage purity of the sodium chloride used 24.45 decimeter cube as the molar gas volume at room temperature so we're looking for the percentage purity of the sodium chloride right we are told that we had 1.5 grams of an impure sample so by definition we know that our percentage purity uh, is equal to the mass of uh, the pure divided by the mass of the impure sample multiplied by a hundred right so this will be equals to so we don't know the mass of the pure up to so far right so we can just put a uh, mass of pure there and then the mass of the impure sample we are told that we have 1.5 grams right and then multiply by 100 so 6.2.3 we're just basically looking for the mass uh, of the pure and if we have that then we basically have percentage purity so how are we going to do that we're going to use uh, the volume of hcl that is formed right in completion we're gonna find uh, the number of moles of hcl right from the number of moles of hcl we're gonna find uh the number of moles of sodium chloride right and then from the number of moles of sodium chloride we're gonna find the mass of nhcl and then find the percentage purity if you haven't realized in high school chemistry we just calculating the number of moles all the time we always calculating the number of moles whether you want percentage purity whether you want empirical formula you will always calculate the number of moles and use the balancing coefficient at some point of time so that's something you should get familiar uh, with doing right so let's go ahead and calculate uh, the number of moles of hcl so the number of moles of hcl we're gonna have uh, the number of moles being equal to the volume divided by the molar gas volume so we're gonna have uh 460 but we know that we need the volume in decimeter cube right so we're gonna divide this uh, by a thousand 
and then divided by uh, 24.45 and this should be equals to 0 0.0188 uh, uh, moles, right? So now we have the number of moles of HCl. Let's go ahead and find the number of moles of uh, NaCl. So we're going to say the number of moles of HCl divided by the number of moles of sodium chloride should be equals to the balancing coefficient. What's the balancing coefficient of HCl? Uh, that is 2. The balancing coefficient of NaCl, uh, that is also 2, right? So here we just basically have uh, the number of moles of NaCl being equals to the number of moles of HCl, right? So the number of moles of NaCl will be equals to uh, 0 0.0188. Uh, so after that, we're going uh, directly to the mass of NaCl, right? Uh, the mass of the pure. So we're going to say that uh, the mass of NaCl will be equal to the number of moles multiplied by the molar mass. Uh, for the faint-hearted ones, this is coming from N is equal to M divided by M, right? Uh, so this will be equal to 0 0.0188. Uh, multiply by so what is uh, the molar mass of we're looking for the molar mass of NaCl that will be 23 plus 35.5 uh, so we're gonna have the mass of NaCl being equals to um, 1.0998 grams uh, so now uh, back to our formula for percentage purity right we're just going to substitute uh, the mass of the pure there, right? So we're going to have uh, that being equals to 1.0998 divided by 1.5 multiplied by 100. And that is just 73.32%. Uh,